If you've been looking for a GTA Online RP server, then look no further than Grand RP. They have truly one of the best open free servers on the market. Whether you're brand new or a veteran, go do yourself a favor and go down below in the description. Click that referral link and register now. And entering Grand Now as a promo code will earn you an extra $25,000 of in-game money to start your brand new GTA RP life. Thanks again, Grand RP, for the sponsor, and let's hop right into it. What's up guys, it's Jaco, and GTA Online is at one of those very, very dry moments at the moment, uh, no pun intended, where it, there's just no DLC and there's really nothing new or fun to do. As you guys don't know at this point, or if you are new to the GTA Online community, which could be very possible if you got expanded enhanced or whatever, whatever, etc. Um, but they do a bi-annual release of updates and content. They release once in like June-ish, July-ish in the summer, and then once in December. This year, it was a little bit different with the expanded enhanced getting us a little taste of something new in our mouths with the upgraded vehicles. The graphics weren't all that amazing and a tiny bit of a UI change, but I wouldn't call that a major update, but like a little tiny update, like you were given a piece of gum and yeah, it tasted good, but it only lasted like three minutes and then you spit it out and was like, okay, well, what's next? That and only PS5 and Xbox Series X players were able to experience this. No one on PC or PS4 or Xbox One were able to experience this, which kind of blows, but uh, unfortunately that was the case. Like I mentioned last week, something is coming in the next week or so that is supposedly new, whether it be a big major update or something small, like maybe a few new cars or a new game mode or something. They used to release adversary modes all the time, Rockstar, and uh, that was just a much, much better and much fresher satisfying time than this, of course. But let, let's say, for example, that we are actually six or eight weeks away and that the thing coming in the next week or two um, is nothing big. Maybe it's a new graphics update or maybe it's for PC to get their ray tracing. Who knows? With Expanded and Enhanced coming out, I was really, really hoping that they would update the game more often, at least on the PS5, Xbox Series X, and the PC side of things. I really hope they actually cut off the updates for PS4 and Xbox Ones. That, that sounds cruel, but um, with the capability and the powers of these next-gen consoles, and of course PC always having them, uh, I really think that Rockstar should be making these updates bigger and better, and of course, more frequently. The past few updates, we got like Keo Perico, the Auto Shop DLC, the Contract DLC. Those were good DLCs. They were really big and they had quite a bit of content to them, especially like the Auto Shop, adding like the new contracts and the new Auto Shop and the club meet um, social place or whatever. They have been getting bigger and better, adding new heists and all these new missions and cars and stuff like that. Back in the day, it used to be a few cars, maybe an adversary mode, a couple races and new clothes and that was just about it but luckily we are getting these bigger and better updates which um is is very exciting and as we know from rockstar's recent sales report to their stockholders remasters and mobile ports are coming so rockstar's developers are probably pretty busy on that and they might be working on a new title i can't say gta 6 for sure but they probably are it's been 10 years surely they've done something with the game and making a new one i don't know <laughs> and there's no promises on red dead online updates so i mean what what exactly are they wasting their resources on and not give us more updates throughout the year at least you know maybe quarterly instead of biannually you know maybe every two to three months we're getting an update and then maybe the sixth month we get a major update or something like that i think that would be perfect i look at games like fortnite and destiny 2 yes they do work like 70 80 hour weeks like freaking slaves but they release so much more content so much more frequently destiny 2 released a new season where a brand new location has been introduced new events new guns new weapons updates to old weapons and buffs and all this crap destiny being a free-to-play game you do have to spend money on the new season but considering that it's a free-to-play game and that they add so much more and so much more often is always quite um, upsetting to see that Rockstar doesn't take a step forward and do this themselves. They made a huge, huge step with 
vaulting some of the old adversary modes and races and content and stuff like that that wasn't even being played, you'd go in and try and matchmake into some of these game modes and you could literally not find another single human being playing that adversary mode or race or game mode in the entire world. And it, it was quite often that that happened. And with quadruple money, which we found out in the recent update from this past week, they could really make some of these old content races and team death matches and stuff like that really worth our while since these have, uh, you know, much bigger payouts. If they're not going to add anything new, the least they should do is make the old content more playable, more fun, and just give a better payout because doing KO Perico over and over and over and over and over and over and over again for the greatest amount of money possible, yes, that is the greatest amount of money possible that you can get solo or with a team, but it's just so boring and we've already had that for over a year now a year in like four or five months so we're getting bored of that and i hope the next major update adds some sort of heist or business that is actually worth doing more than the ko perico <sighs> but of course you know being hopeful when it comes to rockstar games and gt online nowadays is just hard to come by and honestly i hope the next major update i i, I think it's going to be a good one because like i said the recent ones have been getting bigger and better you know, adding real life celebrities into them, Dr. Dre, though I don't think it's necessary, at least they're putting their, you know, profits into something cool, I guess. Dr. Dre, I mean, that was okay. That was fun. And the contract DLC as well was a pretty good DLC. It had a good story. A lot of fun missions too. I really wish Rockstar, of course, would always just update the game with either major or minor updates just more frequently. I really hope that they kind of enter a live service sort of thing. I think a season pass or a battle pass would be really cool if you didn't have to spend real life money to get it. Maybe spend like $5 million in GTA Online cash and you'd have that for two or three months and get a bunch of new um, cosmetic stuff, maybe some car upgrades, free coupons and stuff like that. It's weird to think that Red Dead Online does that, not anymore because they don't update the game anymore, but they did that for a while and it was actually really cool to progress through that little battle pass and earn all this cool cosmetic stuff, like outfits from the story mode from iconic characters. It was it was cool stuff, though Red Dead Online isn't nearly as popular. I think that that could I think that would be really, really fun. But that's all I really have to say for today. GTA Online is at one of those really dry spots. I'm not saying I'm quitting the game or anything, but it's just that really one of those dry spots when we're in between updates. It's just over the halfway point. Expanded Enhance was okay. Gave us a little bit of a satisfactory taste in our mouth for about a day or two for only the people that were able to play it. And then after that, it kind of just went back to being good old boring GTA Online. Do KO Perico or, you know, make other money in some other way. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.